they hurt. Around the corner, Ted Calloway was tending to business at his used car lot. Well, Eddie, I was uh, quite upset and excited, I guess, over the shooting of the president, and I was just standing on the front porch of our used car lot office, and uh, I heard some shooting. What well, sounded to me like five shots coming from the back of our office in the direction of 10th Street over here. And uh, as soon as I heard the shooting, well, I come running off the porch out here on the Patton Street, out here on the sidewalk, and I looked up the street toward, that's 10th Street right there, and uh, I could see this uh, man running across the uh, sidewalk in the back of the taxi cab over to the other side of Patton Street right here. Where was he holding this gun when you saw him? I didn't notice the gun until he was on the other side of the street and running in this direction. Well, now, when he came down here, and you say he stopped where, about uh, over there in front of that house? Yes, sir, about 40, 45 feet away. Uh, I could see clearly he had this pistol in what we used to, in the Marine Corps, call the raised pistol position. And uh, he, was, he wasn't on a, a dead run, but a good, fast trot. And uh, I noticed that he was very pale. He was just deathly white. And uh, I hollered at him. I said, man, what in the hell is going on? And he almost stopped and said something to me, which I could not understand, and uh, faced in my direction, still with a pistol in this position, and then continued on down Jefferson in a good, fast trot. Mr. I mean, down, not down Jefferson, down Pat. What did you do, Mr. Calloway, after this man ran around the corner? Where did you go? I ran down in the direction of the shooting, down toward Patton and 10th Street. And when I rounded the corner, I could see a squad car there. And by this time, there's two or three or four women had uh, gathered around, and I saw Officer Tippett's laying in the street. Uh, I could tell by looking at him that he was dead. Uh, he was laying on his pistol. He had drawn his pistol. His sh uh, strap on his holster was uh, unsnapped. And uh, I imagine that he had drawn his pistol while he was falling because it was, he was laying on, under his left side. So I, I uh, took the pistol from under him and laid on top of the hood of the squad car. And then I ran to the squad car and called in on the radio and told them that an officer had been shot. And uh, they said that someone else had already reported it, so for me to stay off the 